guys, and welcome to another edition of the Showbiz Insider. That's your review of the biggest entertainment news stories of the month. I'm your host, Zoe Richards, and today we come from the gorgeous Studio F Dubai. Now, normally we would go over to Hollywood for a little bit of celebrity gossip, but why bother when there is just so much going on in the UAE right now? Coming up on the show, we've got your red carpet roundup. We've got Vogue Italia, Fashion Forward, Dubai Music Week. But first, we're going to go up to the capital for the highlights of the Abu Dhabi Film Fest. The opening gala red carpet included an impressive lineup of Hollywood greats, inspiring new directors, and the creme de la creme of Arabian talent. The seventh edition included 94 feature films and 72 shorts from 51 different countries. With the simple ethos of celebrating film, the festival honored Oscar winner Forrest Whitaker with the Career Achievement Award. It's exciting. It's exciting. I was excited when I got here and I got off the plane. Uh, I had always heard about Abu Dhabi, but I've never been here. And so the fact that um, they invited me to receive this Career Achievement Award it was, it was very important to me because it shows that I'm connecting in some way to the people here and, and that's that's uh, what I work for, that's what I try to do. We're work. delighted you're here. Um, tell me a little bit about what do you think is your personal biggest achievement career-wise? Mm. I, I, I think career-wise as an, as an actor, or, uh, probably I think I, I got some great satisfaction from The Butler, uh, which is my, my last film. Um, but I'm really excited about a film I have coming out uh, with Rashid Bouchareb. It's a film uh, right now, it's called The Enemy Way, and I, I, I think that I continue to, to, to move forward. Every film is different, every moment is different for me. But acting, producing, directing, which one really nourishes you? Uh, it depends, you know, like uh, Fruitvale Station is a very powerful and I think important film, and Ryan Coogler is a new voice of our time, I think, to really bring social messages to the screen uh, and allow us to see the humanity behind them. And so uh, I'm, I'm very proud of that. It's, it's all different. The opening gala movie was the dark comedy Life of Crime from new Hollywood director Daniel Schechter. It was intimidating at first and then you realize you're the luckiest director in the world to have the best actors you could for every single role. This movie was like my dream movie and then to get like a dream cast doing every part, you're like, well this is even better than I could have imagined. And so you've moved from like independent movies to big Hollywood movies. What has that journey been for you? In a way, it's similar because this isn't necessarily a big Hollywood movie. It has big Hollywood stars, but we were kind of an independent film that had a small budget for what we needed to do. So it's still very quick and very scary and intimidating, but it's so fun to have... This film was, takes place in the 70s, so we had all these you know, cars and extras and clothes and wallpaper, so it was a, it's a massive treat. I want to keep doing it. This is the best job in the world. Elizabeth was in much need of a companion. And that is what we shall say when questions are asked. And the New Horizons category presents fresh styles and challenging ideas in narrative work. And standout film Belle gives period drama a new face. Tell me about Belle, what's the main themes? Uh, well, Belle is an 18th century period drama with a twist. Um, it's a very typical period drama in so many ways, but it stars uh, a black woman in the lead, and it's based on a true story. Um, so it's a wonderful, beautiful, um, aesthetic pleasure. I play the young lawyer, or wannabe lawyer, I suppose, um, who is um, uh, under the instruction of the Lord Mansfield, is played by Tom Wilkinson, who is the ward to Gugu's character, and um, they fall in love and try and save the world together. And from New Horizons to Emirati talent, the Emirates Film Competition provides an important platform for emerging Arab filmmakers, with Emirati female directors now stepping up and challenging tradition. The film is about media, uh, media women, Emirati media women in the UAE, who are suffering from joining media uh, and uh, they are having so, uh, issues with their families, like uh, their families, they are against this idea like joining media because of the religion and uh, sometimes it's uh, uh, their traditions. So not only is the festival an important venue for artists to have their work seen and recognized, but there's also the chance to get industry insider information from the people at the top of the trade. There's a series of masterclasses that look at everything from breaking into Hollywood to the revival of Iraqi cinema. We set up a film school there uh, in 2004, to train young Iraqi filmmakers, I and my colleague Maysoon Pachish, we are two filmmakers living in London. 
And after the war, we decided, you know, to give some sort of help, you know, to the young Iraqi filmmakers. And since then, we managed to make 18 films short, 13 prizes we get, our students. That's, that's where I am based, you know, on and off. From that building, I tried to make a story about the street in front of the school. So for about eight years, I'm keep filming. Hina Salim's My Sweet Pepper ushers us into the lands of Kurdistan, where the Kurds of Iraq are free. I played Baran, the, um, the new commander in, in a new village. So it's a kind of cowboy. And yeah, and he, he, he got a new, he was, before, before he got in command, he was a Peshmerg. It's like, it's kind of a um, fighter for the freedom. And after the Satan Falls, he got a commander and he worked as a police officer or a commander. It's a new village. And the Iraqi director of Before Snowfall talked emotionally about love and pain and living his journey in film. What was your journey? What was your emotional experience? You talk about love and pain. What did you learn? Uh, we learned a lot because we traveled physically with these people, four countries, uh, through 18 months uh, of shooting in four countries. So we, uh, uh, what he uh, felt, we also felt with him. Yes, join Audrey Hepburn as you've never seen her before kicking over the traces and bringing to life Truman Capote's breakfast at Throughout the festival, cinema history is also revisited in Pieces of Time, classic odysseys. That's the art of preserving and restoring cinema. Bringing back classics such as Breakfast at Tiffany's and Hitchcock's Dull M for Murder. As she and George Pippard breeze through the glitter and shimmer of New York as it has never been captured before. When we're talking about the, um, the special programs, we have a selection of, of classic films, which I think is very interesting. Um, I would, again, this is an opportunity to see um, some of the greatest classics in, in cinema history um, restored uh, digitally in 4K, high resolution, um, surround sound, in a movie theater environment. I mean, we could buy those films on DVD, but this is an opportunity to actually watch it in a proper movie theater. And that's something that really makes the program uh, more special. Other movie highlights include Jin, the Emirati thriller directed by Hollywood horror expert Tobe Hooper. Is that it? Home sweet home. And the FN Khan starring drama Kissa, which deals with the aftermath of the 1947 separation of India. What are your hopes for the Arab film industry? You know, it's such a growing, it's still quite a new thing. What do you think? I think it's great. I think this is an ideal place for people to come and make movies. I think it would be uh, terrific if it gets more and more interest. Wrapping up the program lineup are a body of environmental films devoted to broadening awareness of global issues. And the festival also introduced a new award category recognizing films which deal with the subject of child protection and children's rights. Proving that the greatest names in film always have a strong humanitarian side and a great social conscience, Forrest Whitaker revealed to me the causes closest to his heart. A uh, piece, I, uh, I, I deal with, uh, I have a, a foundation that deals with uh, conflict transformation. In fact, when I leave for I'll be going into uh, the South Sudan, into Juba, to hire one of my country coordinators. We've been working there for about a year or so, and I'm an ambassador for UNESCO for peace and reconciliation, so it's, it's the one thing that I spend probably most of my time on. So those were the highlights of the Abu Dhabi Film Festival. Great to have Hollywood, Bollywood, and of course all of those art house films up in the capital that you don't normally get the opportunity to see. Join us after the break for Vogue Italia and the brand new regional fashion designers causing a fashion frenzy.